this video I'm going to show you how to integrate an old analog unconnected irrigation system into Home Assistant and be able to access it and control it anytime, anywhere, as well as automate it. I will do this using a Sonoff 4 Channel Pro which I converted to Tasmota. But with the Sonoff integration, you should be able to do the same using the original Sonoff firmware. Since Sonoff 4 Channel Pro has four relays that can be individually controlled, you will be able to control four electric irrigation valves, thus four irrigation zones. At the moment I only have three, so the fourth channel remains unused. First, let's have a look at the physical connectivity. The electric valves are powered by 24 volts DC current. It doesn't matter to which one you connect the positive or the negative. I am using a 24 volt DC transformer to power the valves. One wire from each valve will connect to the negative from the transformer. You can use a connector to join them all together. The other wire from each of the electro valves will connect to the normally open position of each of the relays on the 4 channel pro. Finally, the remaining wire from the transformer will connect to the common port of um, relay 1. From here you will need to make a bridge to the common of every other relay from the remaining ones. And lastly you will need to power the 4 channel pro itself. You can power it using a um, transformer, a DC transformer between 5 and 24 volts. I chose to use a 12 volts to power mine or you can use um, AC power, anything between 90 and two, 255 uh, volt, uh, 50 volts. So why do we need two transformers? Because the relays do not carry power. The 24 volt transformer feeds the irrigation valves and the 12 volt transformer feeds the board itself. It's time to configure the software part. Since I use Tasmota, I had to configure MQTT, Availability, State and Command Topics. I created four switches, one for each relay of the 4 Channel Pro. I gave each one an appropriate name for the zone they serve. Once the switches are working, it's time to create the scripts and automations. As you can see in this Lovelace view, I have each zone separate, which I can switch on manually. I have a script called Irrigation On Demand, which does exactly what the name says. And I have an automation that starts every night at 11 o'clock and irrigates for 21 minutes. So the automation is like this. It's triggered by the time every night at 11 o'clock it calls the service switch.toggle which starts irrigation in zone 1 it sends me a message on telegram that the irrigation has started it waits for 5 minutes then it toggles again to zone 2 it irrigates zone 2 for 8 minutes then toggles again to zone 3 another 8 minutes then it switches off the last zone and notifies me on telegram that the irrigation has completed So the sprinklers from this zone are now on. I'm going to 
switch to zone 3. So now these sprinklers are on. Now I switch to zone 1 in order to see zone 1 sprinklers working. This was my Somov controlled Home Assistant Integrated Irrigation System. I'm sure in time I'll improve it, but for now it does exactly what I need. I'm sure some of you will think of much more complex scenarios, but for me these rather simple ones are enough for now. If you have any suggestions, ideas, doubts or questions, you can leave them in the comments below. I'll be happy to respond. Once again, thank you for watching. Until next time, bye bye.